Any more questions? John, there were um, some negative stories about your son Tyson in some of the tabloids and national newspapers this morning. Uh, do you think there was any need for that? Listen, anybody who's going to comment on that and try and discredit what my son's done, he doesn't understand boxing for one, and his jealousy is taking his life over. So I say to him, get on and do his day job and forget about messing with real men and commenting on real men, because those men are non-entities. They're sickos, my friend. This has been something that's been done like extraordinary. And what they're trying to do, brush it under the carpet. I will never let them brush it under the carpet. I'll never let it go. Because I know it's been a hundred years since Bob Fitzsimmons did this. And I'm telling you now, it'll be another hundred years before something happens like it again. All these non-believers. Why is it then? Because he's not, he's not out of an house. Or he's from the wrong background. Or because his family say it as it is. I've lived a lifetime of hard knocks and through deep, deep adversity and always come out on top. I've just spent five years behind the door, never took an aspirin, never went to the MO once, never asked for nothing. You know, got on and done the tie, done as I was told like a dog, because you know why? I was mentally stronger than everybody in there. And I've been like that all my life, my son's mentally strong. And you know what? False people, plastic people, we don't really care about what they think. We're not interested. We know the truth. We knew we had the brains to outthink some fella what's been stood around a burning oil room in the past looking for a, a $5 spare. He was never going to outthink us. All of Klitschko's team, we didn't only beat Klitschko, we defeated his team. We're world champion teams. We hold the world title as team members because we outthought them. The brains of Britain, one's a Ukrainian president. We made look stupid. Bert Bont, a billionaire. You know what I'm saying? I tied him up like a cat with a ball of wool. You know what I'm saying? I said, listen, you can do what you want. Right, right's right, wrong's wrong. Play on a level field. We want a, we're down nine one before kickoff, mate, but we're still going to win. We mentally broke them down in London and we've done a demolition job in Germany. But let me tell you something now. They're all going to jump on the back of somebody else. If it's not Anthony Joshua, it'll be Dillian White. But what has these people done to get credit more than my son? The answer's nothing. They haven't fought anybody, they've won no titles. You've got a man there with an attitude as big as his head in David A. He's a coward. You know, he said only a few months ago, the best doctors in the world said he should never fight again. All of a sudden he's out to con the public and steal a living, saying my shoulder's perfect. How can you go from that to that in a short time? You, all you people might be gullible, naive fools. Furies ain't fools. We see through these people. And you know something? The character at the Wizard of Oz, the lion looking for some courage. Let me tell you, the lion had a chance of getting courage because he had a dream that there was an Oz and a man talking from behind the curtain. He's got no chance of guts because he's living in the real world. So do not mention, do not mention men. Well, they're not men. I don't know what they are, these people. I'm going to call them things. I will call them things. Because I'll tell you now, he ain't a man. He's nothing. Come hear this. There's my old trainer there. For anyone who's made his way out of his job today to be with us. I will get him out of his job and he'll train me. And I'll flog David, eh? And then he'll flog David, eh? I'll flog David, eh? I'll flog David, eh? And you know who's other man? You know the great heavyweight champion, what I learned in Germany from a good source? Hear this, Lennox Lewis. You was frightened of me in my AD, and I just found that out from me. He didn't want to fight me. But I tell you now, I'll fight him now. I'm 50, he's 50, let's have a battle royale. Forget about what my lad's done here. We can't, nothing compares with that, and nothing ever will. But I'm telling you now, before all you plastic people can put my son down and discredit what he's done, I will die before I let you achieve that. That ain't happening. And you're going to listen to us. Because we're sick of being talked down to. You're listening to us. Because we pay no homage to nobody. Only God Almighty and our Father. Our blood Father. Do we need to say any more about this people? Put your hands together for the eighth one of the world. I think you deserve the standard of vision. Get up. Get up and bow. Get up and bow to my son of the warrior. That's what you've got to do. Give him a bow. Because you'll never see him again ever. And appreciate what you're seeing. Jonathan Ross has been on the phone. Pierce Brosnan will be on the phone. The Queen will be up with some medals. Where was they three years ago? Nowhere to be seen. And look here today. Be real, people. Change your lives now. 
Stop being yes men. Stop being plastic. God give you your own mind. Use it. Be yourself. Be real. And you'll be a better person inside. And you can look in the mirror and sleep at night. Amen. Too good. That's gold, isn't it? Oh, I'm doing. Do you think you've retired, Vladimir? Hey? Do you think you've retired? Oh, I don't know. To be honest, I think you'll have a look at it, and I don't think it'll be much better. To be honest, he'll um, he'll analyse it. He's a very clever guy, so he'll know what he can do and what he can't do. He was in great shape. He was um, undefeated in 23 fights, not a nine-year uh, spree, winning spree. So it was what it was. I don't think he can do much better. But if he fancies his chances again. I think